Oh, it's a frosty one out here this morning. Minus 20 degrees Celsius last night, so uh, let's go check and see how the horse water did. Morning, guys. So how often do we wake up and see our horse water troughs like that in the morning? And you have to come out and either stomp your foot through it or do whatever. We normally have a heater running as well. Um, but I'll show you what I do to try to keep our energy costs down, keep the water open for the horses. And uh, I think it's a good way of doing it. Guys hungry? This is our bubbler without the water heater on. You can see how the moving water keeps a decent amount of space open so that the horses are able to get a drink without the ice completely crusting over the top of the tank. We'll flip on the heater for maybe an hour this morning just to burn off that last little bit of ice and uh, that should open things up well for the day. But you can see the bubbles moving underneath that the ice is quite thin so the heater for a few minutes should get that nicely opened up. You're a good boy, Coda. The water heater's been going now for just about an hour with the uh, bubbler, and you can see how quickly it melts off any ice that is on the tank. Within another 15 20 minutes, all the ice will be completely gone. And uh, once we get down to that, we will top this back up. This is the bubbler after an hour and a half of turning on the water heater. It's completely cleared, so we'll now unplug the water heater for the day, and this will be good till tomorrow morning again. Hasn't been getting that cold, so we won't bother putting it on the timer. We'll just uh, turn it on as needed. So now that it's all clear, we can top it up with some fresh water, and that'll be it. So what you can see here is you can see the, the aquarium bubbler that we've put in the water trough. The temperatures come up to about minus 10 degrees and the water heater's been off for probably close to five hours now and there is no sign of water icing over. This will do a great job between minus five, minus 10 degrees Celsius. Once it gets a little bit colder, we do have to use the water heater somewhat. But if you can run a 20 watt aquarium bubbler as opposed to a 1500 watt water heater, you're going to be saving a ton of money and uh, this will really help out. This here is our aquarium bubbler. As you can see, it's quite small. It's 20 watts, which is much better than a 1500 watt water heater. In temperatures minus 5 to minus 10, it works great keeping the water clear. Um, when we do get colder temperatures, we do have to rely a little bit on a water heater itself. What we'll end up doing is we'll use a, a timer to kick the water heater on and off. We'll do it for maybe half an hour at a time, two to three times a day. And that working with the water or uh, with the aquarium bubbler, it, it keeps water open, keeps it free from icing up and does a great job. And when you're spending 20 watts or using 20 watts of electricity for this bubbler, as opposed to 1500 watts on a water heater, you're going to be saving yourself a whole lot of money. This, this has just worked out great for us, and hopefully it works well for you as well. If you're interested in this, I will leave a link in the description down below, and uh, you can uh, check one out for yourself. As you can see, the horses, they get used to the bubbling of the water, and you don't have to worry about any shock hazards when, when you have the, the bubbler going. The only thing you have to make sure when you use an aquarium bubbler is that you do keep the bubbler above the height of the water trough, that should you have an outage for any reason, um, the water doesn't siphon back into it 
and cause an electrical problem at that point should the power come back on. But these guys, they don't mind the bubbler. I do need to work on building a bit of an insulated case for around that. That'll help it even more so, and we'll be able to cut back the usage of the uh, heater, hopefully even completely. Because at this point, we only need it maybe an hour a day just to, to keep the ice off if it does get really cold outside. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions, on the uh, bubbler hit me up in the comments down below if you like this style of content please subscribe to my channel it really helps out and hit the like button thanks for watching